what's up guys in today's video well uh, I feel I'm so cringy Ugh. hey guys what's up and welcome back to my channel in today's video we're gonna be doing an informational video that hasn't happened in a long time but this is an informational video because surprisingly I've got a lot of requests for this video well not like overflowing but I definitely did get a lot of requests and even some people I know who do have reptiles asked me this question before so we're gonna handle this right now a lot of you guys want to know how to properly syringe feed a bearded dragon or really any type of lizard this can work well for any type of reptiles because the same method applies but it's quite simple a lot of people I see struggle with it and a lot of people I see do it very wrong or just try to shove food in their bearded dragon's mouth or medicine and you know most of the time that really just doesn't work because the only way they're gonna take it is if it's halfway already down their throat so I'm not, I'm not shoving this down my lizard's throat guys but I'm gonna put it like right here and show you guys how it's done I have had to do this for fits I've had to do it for the cats <laughs> The only reptile I had to do was for Fitz. And that was when Fitz was in eating her veggies and she was that one period of time where I thought she was really sick and I ended up taking her to the vet. So I did have to use this once and now I'm gonna show you guys how to use it again. So first off, you're gonna wanna buy a syringe. Now this, I got this from Paws when I had to give Lucky his dewormer. This is completely sanitized, so don't think I'm putting a dewormer in my lizard. This is completely sanitized, dewormer free. You can ask your vet for one of these. I know they have the ones, but it comes with a needle. They can just pop the needle off. Or you can even go to Rite Aid. I went to Rite Aid and I did get a syringe. However, it's a much larger one. It's probably like this thick. So if you have that, you're ready to start. First, you wanna inject your needle with the fluid. All right, so for my liquid of choice, since this is just a practice round, I'm going to be giving Fitz some water. So this is the water I normally use for Fitz. I just use a bottled water. Oh, also, before you put this in your lizard's mouth, make sure it's clean. So if you had medicine in it beforehand like I did, you really wanna make sure this is sanitized because whatever medicine you had in there can be old, can be bacteria, or can be harmful for the bearded dragon. So let's get into business, and I'm gonna show you guys real up close and personal how to do this. Okay guys, so here we have our lovely contestant who is going to be practiced on. Now, there are two methods I would use to force feed your lizard. The first one is grabbing the back of their jaw and pinching it and their mouths will open. I personally don't like doing that because I'm gonna just show you a nice reason why. They get, even when I go near her jaw to open it, she gets antsy. So I don't really like, I don't know, as much as like, <laughs> I don't know, anything to, if I feel like I'm hurting my animals, I'm not gonna do it. So I just feel like sometimes I do hurt fits when I do that. So that's why I do not use that method. And then another way I used to syringe feed fits was I would just pull her chin down a little bit, even though they don't really have a chin. I would pull it down so it would reveal the lip right there. And then you would stick the syringe in and then insert any liquid needed. With this method, you kind of have to go slower because it's more easier for the food to fall out. But as you can see, none of the water is coming out of her mouth and she'll eventually start chewing. And that's when you could just squirt it all in at once. See? Or you could just wait for their mouth to open. <laughs> <laughs> when I used to give Fitz a treat, her mouth would open directly while she's eating the treat and then I would just stick the syringe in and put whatever medicine, food, or water that was needed in her mouth. So yeah, those are my two methods other than squeezing the back of their jaw because sometimes I'm not even successful in that and I end up fighting Fitz for like an hour just getting her mouth open. And if you guys were wondering why she looks so dark, it's because we're right by a window and it's rainy so she's probably trying to soak up all the sun she can but there really is no sun to soak up. So yeah guys, that's pretty much it. Nothing too difficult there. And if you guys were uncomfortable with the jaw opening method, then I 100% understand. That's why I've also included those two other methods that I've been using, which is the side one and then just sticking food in their mouth that they like and then following, lucky, and then following up with the medicine, food, or water, whatever you have to feed them. So I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you for watching. Say bye Fitz. Now Fitz is back to normal color. 
Every time she goes near a window, she needs to get dark, like no matter what. So, show them you're not a stressed beardy, you just want sun. Oh. 